Waldo man went from an ordinary day spent working in his backyard to a week's long stay at the hospital all because of a spider. KSHB yeah. 41 News reporter Olivia Acri shares his story. Getting bit by a spider is nothing more than a bad dream for most, but a bite left untreated turned Zachary Harakis real life into a nightmare. Outside, in the outside world. Spider bite. Nobody thinks about a spider bite. Zachary went a few days feeling strange before he went to the hospital. Zachary came into the hospital extremely sick. Dr. Andrew Benedict says the open wound from the spider bite let in a flesh-eating bacteria. It's called necrotizing fasciitis. I've heard of this. It's not for me, but here we are. That diagnosis is rare. The Cleveland Clinic reported that between 2010 and 2022, there were only 700 to 1,200 cases per year, and its symptoms can be be confused with the brown recluse bite. Dr. Benedict explained the difference. The initial thought was, could this be a brown recluse spider bite? Sometimes those spider bites can cause a local reaction, and it can cause actually death of the skin. In Zachary's case, it didn't cause death of the skin, it just caused death of the tissue underneath the skin. You doing okay? He's been in and out of surgery for weeks as doctors rebuild his leg after 1,000 square centimeters of tissue were removed. Aside from worrying about his injury, he's worried about his cleaning business. It's not that I don't appreciate this vacation, but um, I own a small company, and with me in here, it doesn't do. And so there's no income because I can't be out there making it. But Dr. Benedict expects a full recovery. He should have no loss of motor function, for example, so he should be able to walk and, and live a normal life. Glad things are getting better. Zachary wants people to take away the importance of getting checked out if you ever think something feels off after a spider bite. In Kansas City, Olivia Acri, KSHB 41 News. Zachary's first bite more than a month ago, July 3rd. There is a GoFundMe page if you'd like to help for medical fees in his recovery journey. His goal, $10,000, and so far, he's raised a little more than $2,200. We have the link to this GoFundMe over on our website, KSHB.com.